So what do we mean by figure to ground? If you're taking a picture, the figure might be the thing you're pointing your camera at, like your friend or a monument or something like that. And the ground would be everything else in the background. Usually in maps, we want to distinguish the figure from the ground. This isn't a map, it's just an image here, but it shows an example of a poor figure to ground relationship. If you can't make out what this is, you're not alone. It's a, um, it's a dog sniffing the ground here. And we can see it's a Dalmatian dog. We can see the dots on the dog, but they blend in with kind of the background as well, so that we're not clearly able to see where the dog begins and the background begins. This is a famous example of figure to ground. This is the FedEx logo, logo, and most people when they look at this see the words FedEx. But there's also an arrow here, which once you see it really stands out. It's sort of playing with the figure to ground, making whether you see this as the figure or the ground um, is ambiguous. We can also use figure to ground relationships in maps. And sometimes this depends on the scale of the map. I would say the map on the right is a good example of figure to ground where we can clearly see where the um, wider streets are based on where the white areas are. And um, the one on the left is, it also shows where the streets are, but because we're so zoomed in, we see the streets, we see the spaces between the buildings, which are shown in black, but it's not at it may not be as apparent that this is a map if someone were to just look at, at, the, at the figure to ground zoomed into this level here. Here's an example of figure to ground where the ground is the dark night sky and it's also most of the pumpkin. But what the figure is, is the light shining through these jack-o'-lanterns that have been carved in various ways. So these are actual jack-o'-lanterns in a neighborhood in Boylan Heights, Ohio. Um, in their proper geographic location. And um, we can see that everything kind of blends into the ground like it would on a dark Halloween night with just the glowing faces of the jack-o'-lanterns creating the figure in this case. And oftentimes on a map, we want the, the figure to stand out from the ground. So in this example here, showing the United Kingdoms and Ireland, we do this in two different ways in these examples here. On the left-hand side in figure A, what they've done is they've made the figure stand out more on the map, Ireland and, uh, and the UK, by not continuing the lines of longitude and latitude through the land areas of Ireland and the UK. On the right, they've, kind of, they've done it with something called a vignette, where they basically made it darkest near the edge of the, of the land, and then lighter and lighter as you move into the ocean. This gives a nice three-dimensional effect, almost makes the uh, land appear as if it's popping off of the map. And these are just two of the different ways in which we can nicely establish a figure to ground on our maps.